Now, outspoken Labour MP, a defender of biological women, Rosie Duffield, has since said that she would rather be arrested than call Izzard a woman, and she earlier claimed she would resign if the comedian made it onto an all-female shortlist. Now, in a belated statement, Izzard said they never asked and have never been offered a place on an all-female shortlist. But Rod Liddell, uh, is Duffield right with her stance on this? Because Slippery Starmer, I don't know if you saw earlier in the week, Rod, uh, he doesn't want to say a word about Eddie Izzard, and I assume that's because Keir Starmer can't even say whether a woman uh, can have a penis. I'm sure that's absolutely the case, but let's give a bit of credit where it's due to Rosie Duffield. Mm. It is pretty difficult for anyone in our society to say that they wouldn't call Eddie Izzard a woman without being catcalled and attacked by the transgender lobby, probably dropped if you were working as a solicitor, probably sacked by your firm if you were working for a quango, probably sacked, drummed out if you were a teacher, drummed out of your job. Uh, but it is incredibly difficult and incredibly courageous uh, to say that if you're actually a member of the Labour Party. Uh, which of course Rosie Duffield is, and has faced uh, uh, quite a uh, quite a large number of problems in her own constituency from the pro-trans lobby. So enormous credit to Rosie Duffield for saying that she would rather be arrested than call Eddie Izzard a woman. And of course, the, the question about Eddie Izzard gets us to the one of the roots of the problems with uh, the more extreme side of the trans lobby, which is that. For years, uh, women were greatly underrepresented in Parliament, for years and years, uh, and eventually um, all women shortlists were introduced in order to redress that balance, because for some reason the Labour Party, rather more than the Conservative Party, actually is rather misogynistic. Uh, the Tories have no problem with this, by the way, it's an interesting point. But increasingly, you find that it's transgender people who are getting themselves onto these all-women shortlists, and perhaps this Eddie Izzard could be one of those one of these days. Who knows? Uh, so it is incredibly courageous of Rosie Duffield uh, to speak out in this way. Uh, she will undoubtedly face the most appalling flack from her constituency party, from the hordes of shrill momentum supporters who, who make up the bulk of the Labour Party activists. So it is a voice of sanity. Obviously, you know, we wait with bated breath to see what Sakir thinks about it all. Uh, well, he just doesn't want to talk Sakir, about it. He's, he's yeah, terrified he of the left of his he party. He won't touch it in a barge hole, will he, mate? He, he won't go anywhere near it. Uh, uh, but I tell you this, it would give the Labour Party more votes up here in the north of England, where I am at the moment, uh, but also amongst sane and rational people down south as well, that if Sir Keir Starmer was able to say, yes, uh, I don't think that Eddie Izzard actually is a woman. I think it's probably Eddie Izzard, the male comedian who we, we know and love. Uh, and I'm well able to define what a woman is, and that's a, a grown adult female. I think that would go down terribly well with a large number of... It's the missing bit of the jigsaw, which Starmer hasn't yet managed to... Uh, locate. He's done most of the rest of it, but all that woke stuff is the last thing he needs to do. And the problem is, of course, that the Labour Party uh, activists are 90 odd percent. Uh, they have no idea what a woman is. They, they, they are entirely bemused by the entire concept of uh, the word woman. It's not the only uh, scandal rocking.